Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. Very cold day today, but not as cold as yesterday. Uh, today is about 32, just around freezing. Uh, you can tell ice does not melt when it's 32. Anyways, you saw from uh, the last episode, this is a Honda HS520 single stage, four stroke snowblower. Um, in the last episode, we wanted to see what was wrong with it, and all it was was a dirty carburetor. The bowl was filled with ethanol gunk, a lot of gel buildup in there. So after we did a quick and dirty, cleaned out the jets, tuned up the carburetor, and uh, got it running smooth, I attempted to try to see if the augers work. When I pulled on this, nothing happened. It wasn't spinning, you know? And then when it was engaged like this, I thought maybe the cable wasn't tight enough and that you had to give it a little bit more help. So when I pulled it like that, it went and then smoke started coming out and I stopped it, right? And then the engine stopped on its own. Like the belt is around the pulley and just stopped the engine just like that. Which is not good because I'm not sure whether or not I blew a rod from that or is it just the belt? So we're going to take this panel off right here. It looks like it's just four screws, five screws. Take this panel off so we can see the pulley and belt system that's attached to this and figure out why it doesn't work. Um, when you look at the auger itself, right, this flat panel goes out like that somehow. If you look at the auger itself, paddles look okay. A little worn, but not terrible but it turns freely. So that worries me because if this was caught, the belt is broken and it's wound up on the crankshaft pulley. That's why this thing moves freely. This thing didn't turn ever, you know? So definitely something wrong with it. I'm gonna remove this front, the side panel here. And it looks like it's just four uh, 10 millimeter bolts, uh, screws. So we're gonna do it right now just to see what's up. I'm gonna put this in this hole. And I've got screws all over the place. And I don't like to use the magnetic things because, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's, there's a bolt on the other side. Of course, and that doesn't look like it fits. That's so, this one's so stripped, you can't even get it off. It doesn't even look like it's a 10 millimeter. All right, not gonna be easy. Here's a better look on the front part of it. This is the panel we wanna remove. This one's okay, that one's okay. This one didn't move. It moved because the other side has another bolt over there, see? You see that or no? I need to grip onto that one. This one over here is kind of rubbed out. And I don't know why this is rubbed out, but this is almost down to the stud. Can't even grip onto it. And it has an end over here. So I have to put a 10 millimeter wrench on this side while I turn it. I'll get it off. The hell? There we go. One more to go. This one's going to be tough because there's almost no screw on the other, uh, no nut on the other end. I might have to drill this one out, grind, grind the nut out. Yep, stripped. Okay, so it's not actually a nut, it's uh, welded onto here. You see what I'm saying? And it's just one uh, screw that goes in like that. 
but this is so stripped that you can't get it off. So I'm gonna grind that out, and get another one. Okay, grinded the cover off. I'll just spray paint that black later on. Check out what we got here. First of all, we've got um, got remnants of a little mouse nest here. Not too bad, but enough to cause problems for sure. As you can see, auger uh, assembly is tight and smooth. How it works you pull onto the cable and the pulley stretches the belt and then when you let go pulley goes back up doesn't stretch it anymore and this part here it holds on to the um, auger and stops it from spinning freely that's a, that's like the brake see see how that works so it everything looks correct and looks like it functions well but as you can see, the belt did wrap around the um, crankshaft, see? I'm gonna have to remove this belt somehow. And I definitely don't have one like this. Huh. There we go. So, I'm gonna need a new belt. I have no idea how long, how short, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if during this process I busted the crankshaft. Uh, yeah, the crankshaft. Let's see if it turns over and starts now that the belt is untangled. Man, I hope it's it turns. Aha! It does. <laughs> So it runs great. I just need a new belt for sure. I'm gonna go and check and see the model number match up with the parts diagram to figure out which belt this is. As you can see, it's it's a shame too because the belt looked good. <laughs> I don't know what I did to it that caused it to do that, but it sucks. But you know what? It wasn't working when I tried the uh, auger, so there was something wrong with this anyway. You get, you think it has something to do with the mouse nest in there? It might have been something but there's the evidence of it scrape something then finally just cut in half but so I'm just looking at the evidence if you match this up it doesn't match up the brake is missing a PC so I don't know how that happened you know it's not like a puzzle it's supposed to be like that but actually it's actually missing a piece so I don't really know how long this is supposed to be nor do I have anything close to it so I definitely have to order it. Well, I was looking at my collection of belts and they're all V-belts. I thought maybe I could get away with a V-belt, but I don't think I can. Because the way these pulleys are uh, made, right? It's all, um, the way these pulleys are made, it's all flat. The flat pulleys, uh, flat belts, so it's not gonna work. I have this one here that looks exactly like it. Problem is it's too long. It's too long by like eight inches, way too long. So I'm gonna have to, it's no, no avoiding it. I'm gonna have to spend some money on it. <laughs> but uh, like I said, this HS uh, 520 is really one hell of a snowblower. Um, here's a clip from what I saw on YouTube. 
about how good this snowblower throws snow. It surprised even me. Check it out. And then uh, stay tuned for when I get my belt and we'll replace it on here. Hopefully that will do the trick. Thanks a lot for joining me on this brief episode of Troubleshooting Exactly Why it, the Auger Doesn't Spin. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. you guys enjoy the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.